Hi students, we are starting on chapter 9.4, Arc Length and Sector Area in Radian Measure. Okay, so in this chapter, what you will do is to find the arc length and the area of the sector using radian. Okay, so recall in uh, 9.1, 9.2, right, we have tried to find the arc length and the area of the sector, but your angle is in degrees. Okay, so let's look at the diagram over here. Okay, so uh, just to recap, uh, what is arc length? Okay, so the arc length is over here, is the red uh, part. Okay, so this S, right, this red color part is called the arc. And S over here is the arc length, means how long is the arc. Next, right, uh, what we have is the angle subtended at the center is theta, now is in radian. Okay, so this is called the angle subtended at the center by the arc, right, the red color arc. So where is the sector? Okay, the sector will be over here. Okay, so this is called a sector over here. Right, so in this sector, right, you also have the uh, radius to be R units. So what we want to do here is to be able to find the arc length and the area of the sector Right, if the angle theta is radian. So for the arc length, okay, so recall that uh, the angle theta in radius is given by the ratio of the arc length to the radius of the circle. Right? So what we have is theta is equal to arc length, S is the arc length, and R is the radius. So to find arc length S, what we need to do is to simply cross multiply the R. So you get S equals to R theta. Okay, so this is the new thing that you need to learn. Arc length is equal to R times theta. Next, area of a sector. Right, so recall that area of a sector is given by this formula earlier. X uh, the angle x in degrees divided by 360 times pi r square. Right? So recall that pi r square is the area of the circle. Okay, so now what I want to do is to change. Right? I want to change the, the degree. Right? We want to change the degree to radian. Right? So now this theta is in radian. So what we do is for the 360 degrees, 360 degrees uh, over here, right, is actually 2 pi, right? Can you recall this? Right, 360 degrees is 2 pi. And that's why I changed the 360 degrees to 2 pi. So what's the advantage of doing that? Right, we realize that this pi over here and this pi can cancel out. So what are you left with? Right, you are left with a half. You are left with a half. Okay, where does the half come from? You get uh, the 2 over here, all right, in the denominator. R square, all right, R square is over here, and theta, all right? So the new uh, formula that you need to know is the area of a sector is half R square theta, okay? So in the next few work example, we are going to apply these two formula, all right, to find the arc length and uh, area of sector when the angle theta is in radians.